so today we are going to learn some coping techniques with one of our therapists here, Haley. Hello, I thought I'd teach today feather breathing and this is one that I talk about a lot with my littles. Um, so if you two want to place the feather in your hand and we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to blow on the feather, but if the feather falls off your hand then you're blowing too fast and too hard. So we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. So Jordan blew the feather a little too fast. <laughs> so let's try it again. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And this practice is nice, slow breathing and consistent breathing. And so that we're not breathing too quickly when we're trying to calm down. So next is the five senses. It's a grounding technique. Um, it uses seeing, touching, hearing, smelling, tasting in order to ground ourselves back to the now and be mindful of what's happening around us. So let's start with seeing. So we're gonna do five things that we can see, but I want you to make sure that you describe what you see. So list five things you can see. So when we're trying to list the things that we see, try to be observant and use objectives like the green plant that's furry looking furry that one oh that's furry. yeah gotcha. <laughs> okay so practice that with one more what's one more thing you can um, see i see the black chair perfect colorful butter black nice okay um next we're gonna do four things that you can smell or hear let's do it here or things you can hear. I hear chatter outside of the office. Okay. Air moving. James breathing. Okay. Self-conscious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. One more. Gary's laugh. Okay. So now we're gonna go three things that you can feel or touch. My pants. What does it feel like? Well, my pants feel like down. Okay. Like, almost <laughs> Like, I just look like one of those carpets, the corduroy carpets. Okay. Yeah. One more. I feel the weight of my keys on my stomach. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do two things that you can smell. A lot of times when there isn't things to smell, you can smell your shirt. It smells like home. Uh, the air inside smells different than the air outside, so noticing that. Anything else you can smell? If I have coffee, I can smell that. <laughs> I smell my shampoo. Oh, yeah. Okay, that counts. <laughs> and then one thing you can taste. Okay, that counts. <laughs> so then that is the five senses where you work through going from five things all the way down to one thing. And you can change the five senses um, depending on where you're at. So if you're in like Bath and Body Works, then you want to do that first because you can smell five different things and that's fine. Um, but if you're somewhere where you can't taste a lot of things, then you're not going to do five for the taste. Uh, if you're eating dinner and you need to do a grounding technique, you can do five things that you can taste at that point. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Another coping skill we can use is to come outside because fresh air is good for anybody to change scenery, um, kind of take in different air than what's in your office or in your home, and just think about nature. Can I restart? <laughs>